Hi, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrack.com and today we have the Defender Series by OtterBox for the BlackBerry Touch 9850 uh, or BlackBerry Torch. Um, show you how to install and remove the Defender Series case for the BlackBerry Torch 9850, 9860. As soon as I figure out how to pull it out of there, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and throw that down there. And we'll just pop this, slides right off. But if you're buying it, you can just probably rip this thing to shreds. Uh, probably give you a little satisfaction. So four layers of protection. First layer is going to be this hard clip right here. The uh, second layer is going to be this, eh, come on, get off of here. Um, shock absorbent silicone skin. The, four, the third layer is going to be this screen protector, it's built in to the actual Defender case, so that's kind of nice, don't have to worry about uh, anything else. And then you have the hard polycarbonate shadow resistant plastic that is the actual, uh, let's say the bones of the cover. And I'm trying to take this apart, I feel like I'm failing. And here we go. So just go ahead and snap this bad boy into place. You hear some clicks, and snaps, snap, crackle, pop, Make me some Rice Krispie Treats, Mom. So then once you've snapped that together, go ahead, slide the shock absorbent silicone skin onto the polycarbonate shell. Like so. like so. So now that we've put that on there, made it look really nice, really sexy. Um, as you can see, we still have access to our 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Our volume rocker bar is properly notated with a little plus mark, a little minus mark. You can still use it. Your camera capture key, your camera and flash are still exposed, but yet covered by a little bit of, see that little shine there, that flash? There's a plastic shielding in there to keep it, uh, dust free, moisture free. Your micro USB charging port is covered when not in use, so that's kind of nice. And it comes with this nice carrying holster belt clip with 360 degrees ro uh, with rotation, and that actually snaps into place to act as a, a little kickstand. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And you can carry your phone like this, keeping the touch screen nice and covered so um, you can't bump into something and crack that uh, touch screen. So that's really nice. So from there, uh, removing is just as simple. You just pop it out of place and you move this down and move this like that. And then just pull on this here. Just like so. And like so. And This is supposed to pop off, but it's not popping off. I don't know why. Let's put a little pressure on it. Maybe that'll do the trick. There it goes, now it's popping off. Now it's popping off up in here. <laughs> it's clever. Um, and then, eh, just work on one side. It's this little clip right in here. Is, You'll see these little marks right here. These are where the actual clips are. There you go. Just slide your fingernail in there. Once you get one side, the other side will come right off, no problem. And then you've taken it off, and now you can move on to maybe a different case. Maybe this was a little too thick for you. You wanna to move to the OtterBox Commuter Series case. We have a video of that. Check that out as well. I wanna say thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. You can find me at CPT underscore Tommy on Twitter. If you have any more questions, you can also follow me on um, Facebook, uh, do facebook.com backslash cell phone track. Sorry, there's a lot to say here at the end. And then follow us on our regular website at www.cellphonetrack.com. Let's say thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great new year.